Oh, Gulfport, uh, Ray Rodriguez. The morning after the secret, secret mediation. Uh, um, a year and 17 months into a, a federal civil rights lawsuit, I was just at mediation and it was Ray Rodriguez sitting on one side of the table and they had the whole other side of the table filled up with the criminals from uh, which I filmed leaving. Uh, the two criminals that were leaving that are protecting and covering up the criminal activities, Jim O'Reilly and uh, uh, the attorney, Salzman. And and uh, and there was also a new three, there was one, two, three, four, five, five attorneys that were sitting there from different agencies, uh, all hired by the city of Gulfport. And there was some on a uh, Zoom meeting and and, I, and when we discussed about the secrecy, we can't say anything about what's said in the meeting. Now, uh, all of these, and I, and I asked the uh, mediator who is a professional, courteous, kind, I really liked him, Robert Stoller is his name. I believe he's an honest man, which is uh, an anomaly in the situation that I've come across with this crooked city of Gulfport. But uh, the deal was, was, each of those corporations, the Corporation of Gulfport, the Corporation of uh, Public Risk Management, the Corporation of uh, Andy Deyes, uh, and whatever other people were on Zoom listening to it, which were not listed in the people that were supposed to be at the meeting. There, you know, you have to give a case summary of who's going to be there, and there's four, there's three, four people that weren't even on the list. Uh, I don't even know who was on Zoom. And then I made sure what ended up happening was each of the corporations could share all of the information from this meeting with their corporate members. So the city of Gulfport can say anything about the meeting to anybody they want within their corporation. Florida Risk Management can go and share all of the information with anybody in their corporation. And so can uh, Andrew Deus Corp, whatever law firm he's with. He's the hired gun that's been brought to, to shut me up. Uh, and... And so all of these corporations can share this information, whatever was said with anybody in their corporation. And I am the only one that is not able to share the information from the media, from the mediation kind of a, kind of a crooked system set up by a crooked government, by a crooked, whatever. But in the end, uh, the flip side of it is public records request. I've been making public records requests about not the case itself, but the cost of the case to the city. And the city of Gulfport refuses every one of these. I'll be bringing all of those denied records requests. Uh, absolutely nothing came of mediation, which everybody says you never get nothing from mediation. Uh, and I was hoping we could be done with this, but they had no intentions of doing anything to work towards an amicable solution. Uh, now I am launching lawsuit lottery, a profit sharing thing. I need money to fight these criminals that have, that are criminals covering up their activity, uh, conspiring, just as I said, in my case mediation, uh, summary report, the, uh, uh, I have now I'm going to stalking court for a secretary in Gulfport, just like, uh, uh, a dude up north that has the four uh, women going after him. And he's going to jail today, I believe. I, I've been following him. Uh, uh, Ty Audits. Uh, can, give me a second. I'll think he just changed. Henry Audits. He changed his name here recently. Anyway, uh, this YouTube channel. But the end result is uh, now, since the corporation of Gulfport is, sh is sharing the information from the mediation all through their corporation, it's public records of what the city does and and but the city of Gulfport doesn't think that they have to share any of their criminal activities and I'll be bringing forth all of the denied records requests the pattern and practice of a systematic attack upon me my family my business it was uh, actually quite comical what happened uh uh, yesterday, and it was Ray v. a whole table full of lawyers. And with my lawsuit lottery, I'm looking at generating cash, which is one, profit sharing and the cost of my lawsuit and the defense for my criminal cases, which is all going to tie into it. And, uh, and, and, and my civil rights fund, my uh, getting a, a, a competent, not a lying attorney. Uh, I, ha I did hire an attorney who started this up. She ended up being, uh, her email said, uh, you're not going to catch me lying. I quit. Quite telling 
from a lawyer. Anyway, uh, Ray Rodriguez, I am media, lawsuit lottery number one. And what it is, is I'm going to start a corporation and the investors in this corporation will uh, help me in, will help me fund this uh, legal process that I'm in. And any winnings I get, one third is going to go back towards the investors, one third to me, the plaintiff, and then one third going back into the lawsuit lottery corporation to fund future uh, future civil rights claims with the original investors being vested in the future claims down the line. So it's a possibility of, you know, earning income, uh, paying it forward, having civil rights uh, attorneys working and accomplishing a goal of of the Constitution and what Congress says allowed, and that's what I that's that's the one thing I'm standing on. That's, what I've learned is the federal courts are only going to defend the Constitution and laws made by Congress. Uh, I'm learning. Uh, I, I don't want to. I want a bulldog attorney that's going to shut these criminals down. Has done this before. His name is Luke Larue. Uh, he's out of clear water, and uh, I'm hoping the money that I generate is going to go to Luke LaRoe so he can hire the staff that he needs, which was the reason that blah, blah, blah. blah. Anyway, uh, Luke LaRoe out of clear water. He used to uh, uh, represent Joe Redner. He's a sailor. He's a sailor at heart. Uh, he's a waterman at heart, and he's lawyering uh, to, to uh, you know. Anyway, Luke LaRoe, let's do some, I, I'm going to, uh, I'm setting up Venmo. I'm told I'm setting up uh, some other one, uh, Venmo. And, uh, uh, and well, actually, I'm going to go ahead and uh, see if I can print up uh, my magic, my magic video, Micah Man, uh, just sent me uh, uh, my lawsuit lottery jingle coming up here. Again, this is uh, an idea I've been working on, profit sharing and paying forward for future claims that's and and i'm hoping i can help other people from expose the criminals and the cover-up and the qualified immunity and how these chief vincent and and the city of gulfport the city of gulfport has chief vincent weaponizing the police force against whoever the city council and the power that be within the city i'm learning politics. I was just a worker bee back in the day, providing for my family and putting my nose down. But now uh, they've attacked me, taken away my ability to work and stay tuned. More coming.